Hi, I'm Ellen Abraham from Burning Heart Hot Yoga Spin and Pilates, and today we're going to make a super, super basic nut milk. Basically, it's about a, a little bit under a cup of nuts, and here I have cashews and almonds. Both are raw and sprouted. And I'm going to have a Vitamix, which is one of the most incredible machines a vegetarian or vegan can have. I love my Vitamix. So here I'm just going to add filtered water. And I, I like to do it in, in parts so everything is completely pulverized. So I put it in about a cup of water, a little bit more to, to cover the nuts. And then I'm gonna put the, the top on, start it at low, walk down from variable, and I'm gonna turn it on. And I'm gonna start to take the nuts up and make sure that they're totally processed. turning everything off you don't want to run it too long at the highest setting because it actually does create heat and creates friction so if you are interested in keeping your milk raw then again just be mindful of how long you let the motor run but so here you see that it's already started to create a milk that would be a super thick um, cream kind of milk and so now I'm ready to just add the rest of the of the filtered water and for this for this is the milk I leave in my fridge to use for my daily smoothies so I don't add sweetener or salt or any kind of flavorings because I don't need to if I'm making it in a mix. If I was to use this for cereal, then I would make a basic nut milk, which is on the Vegan Love Project website that has, a, you know, you can sweeten it with dates or vanilla and you can flavor it however you like. Even make it like flavored milk with chocolate or fresh fruit. So I'm going to put this back on. I'm going to pulverize and blend again. Walk it up. for the week. So I'll just transfer this into my jar which will be ready to stay into the fridge. And you can see it's still thick enough. If I wanted to make it a little less rich, I could do that. And there you have it, your basic nut milk. Have a great day.